All right, here we go again. Uh, workout three on this mass gaining phase. Uh, back to another push workout. I feel a lot better after my last workout. I got pretty good and sore from my pull workout, but it wasn't it wasn't a great workout. But I feel pretty rested. Took yesterday off. Slept really good. So we're back at it. We're gonna start with a belt squat today. Uh, if you don't have one of these, just do a regular squat. If you're following along with what I'm doing, some sort of a squat pattern, but. I love the belt squat. I've got really long legs, a really short upper body. So I love squatting too. I tend to get really tired and sore in my low back before my quads will get really exhausted. So the belt squat allows me to take off, to take my back out of the, out of the equation and I can just focus on my quads, get a really good quad stretch, stretch at the bottom and kind of milk that position and then fire out. I don't feel these on my back at all. Uh, that's not my limiting factor then in this exercise. So that's part of the reason I like it. So if you notice that that's something for you with any kind of a squat, a back squat, front squat, whatever, uh, if you've got a belt squat at your, where you train, give these a shot. So I've already warmed up with just one set with a 45 on each side, um, five reps, nice and slow. And then just some real quick kind of dynamic stretching to get my inner thighs warmed up. Like I've said before, that's where I tend to be tight and now I'm ready to go. I'm going to do one more warm up set and then we'll jump into working sets. So that felt great. Really happy with that. I got three sets of 10 last week. I got two sets of 10, one set of eight at this weight. Uh, my eighth rep last week was probably about like my ninth rep today, but I wanted that 10th rep, um, so that I can go up in weight next week. Um, but I probably had one rep left in the tank on that, that very, very last one, that 10th rep. I probably could have gotten one more too, if I absolutely had to, but you'll see on the way up, I got stuck a little bit and really had to push and power through on it. So that was great. My quads are pumped. We're going to move into two sets of a reverse Nordic. I am doing these basically two sets of failure. They're, they give you a great quad stretch. They're just, they're a fantastic exercise for finishing off. They're just all quads. I will use a red band attached. So kind of assisted. I can do the negative portion on these just fine. Getting all the way back. Um, it's on the way up which is where I'm going to really need the assistance. So you'll notice as I come down on these, I'll hold on the band, but I'll kind of move my arms. I'm holding the band, but I'm trying not to let the band provide that much assistance as I go down because I really want to get everything I can out of the stretch on it. Um, and then I'll use it on the way up as I need to um, to help me maintain good form as I come up. If you do these, keep your hips really high when you come up and especially when you when you start come up out of the bottom, don't hinge at the waist. So keep your hips up high so that you stay completely flat and you're coming up all out of your quad. So two sets to failure on these. I don't know. I'll be somewhere around five, six, maybe seven reps on each set. So I'll show you guys how to do these five sets of quads. Uh, you'll notice when I set up, I like landmarks. I like everything to be done pretty consistently from one week to the next. So I use the seam between two of my mats. I mean, that's where I put my toes right now. And then I've got the red band set with on the, on the barbell of my Smith machine, and I've got it set as high as it goes. So right now, uh, that's my weight. I guess you could say how far I am away from the machine, the banding, where everything is set up. I did a set of five instead of four today. I got six last time, but the belt squat took a little bit more out of me and I'm just going to stay here until I can do sets of a couple sets of 10 and then what i'll do is i'll just move slightly further forward because that'll cause less tension on the red band and i'll just kind of keep moving forward until i don't need to use it at all in order to come up which is my ultimate goal um, but not ever going too fast just small consistent gains so this being my push day where i start with my legs i am i'm pretty wiped out at this point so the next exercise uh, i'm only going to do three sets of for chest but it's a super set or a cluster set, I guess, um, because I'm using two chest exercises, one right into the next. So I'm going to do a flat bench dumbbell fly. Um, and I'll take this to about two to one reps in reserve. 
and then I'll go straight into a dumbbell press with the weight. Oh, and I don't know, we'll see what I get out of that. I'll push that just pretty close to failure, probably one RAR each time around. I'm more tracking the reps and the weight on the fly portion of it, and then I get what I get out of the push just to finish the, the pecs off. I can go through chest pretty fast this way. I'll be absolutely fried tomorrow, uh, but I'm not trying to go into like a bench press or an incline press or something, even a dumbbell press where I'm really trying to move a lot of weight after what I just did with quads. So I save that for the day where I do chest first and quads a little bit later on. Into the next one. Oh, so that was set number one on those. Really slow with these on the way down, really slow. And then when you get to the bottom where you feel a really good stretch, a safe stretch. So just get down as far as you can, whatever that is. Safe stretch at the bottom. Don't try to push it too much. Just get to where you feel a good stretch and then hold it there for about a second, maybe two, and just, you know, get a good stretch out of that and then come out really smooth. Once you're down to that really big stretch position, you don't wanna like yank out of that or come up really explosively. And you wanna protect those. Um, you wanna protect your tech, your pec tendons and, and your muscles. So real slow on the way down, big stretch, smooth on the way out. And then I don't worry about twisting the dumbbells or anything at the top, just, just come up, but keep a, keep a slight arch in your back. And as you come up, keep your chest high, shoulders down and back, so that when you come up, you're squeezing your chest together. When I do these, and I have since I was, a, I don't know, 12 years old, lifting, I'd seen pumping iron and that scene where Arnold's doing the flies, the dumbbell flies, and his chest is just huge, and he's going. That's what I, every single time, that's what I picture. Um, I just envision my chest just uh, filling up and just squeezing it as hard as I can. So picture that, picture your chest just getting big and full and just fuller and fuller and fuller with each rep and squeeze at the top. We'll do two more sets of these and then we'll move on to some shoulders and finish off with triceps. So I like these a lot and I like the behind the back version of it. Uh, if your gym's crowded, just single arm. Um, even better on a single arm if you can, if you got something you can brace against, I like to come from behind because I get a really good stretch on my shoulder. I can let the weight come from behind and then kind of lean out. It'll keep a lot of tension on your shoulders. But if you can get two, I like this. I get two arms done at once. I feel good and stable that way. Uh, and I get a good stretch behind my back. And I just, so you'll notice I come down slow. I get to the top. I don't spend a bunch of time waiting up with the top. I just get up as high as I can and then come down slow and let that stretch. So that's it for tonight. Felt good. That was a good push workout. I felt really good tonight on that one. I got a lot of sleep last night. It's Saturday. I felt good. Good pump. I felt aggressive on everything. Uh, much better than the last pull workout that I had. I wasn't feeling too great on that one. So this was nice to come back and have a really good one. Um, I'm going to go in, have a little bit of Gatorade powder to start to replenish glycogen stores. And I'll have a protein shake along with that. And then I'll do a pull workout tomorrow, probably midday, which will be nice not to have a night workout because uh, I will have to get up early again on Monday. So um, I'll have the, uh, down in the description, I'll have exactly what I did, um, sets, reps. So if you're trying to follow me volume-wise, see what I'm doing, um, that'll all be in there. But have a great workout.